Welcome back everyone to Punny Plays the Morning, and we are back here with Ongbor to see what he has to say. This darkness is a weight on my mind. Ah, Pineclaw, here you are, so close to the dreaded stronghold. If I did not have my orders from Lord Aragorn, I would march up to the gates of Minas Morgul and rap at the bars with my blade. Let them know fear for a change. That is how I feel, yet my men still tremble and seem downcast when they glance that way. Have I told you how, when I ousted the Haradrim from Lossanach, not a single of my men died? Yes, that's true. Take a look at the statue over there. My men are restoring it rightfully to a symbol of hope. Alright, let's have a look at this symbol of... Oh! Yeah. Let's see one statue. Ah, there it is. That doesn't look like much of a symbol of hope. Right? Hmm. All right. Let's get it closer and have a look. Yeah. Needs repair. Definitely needs repair. I think for sure. The statue needs a bit of repair. There's not but ill omens these days. Yes, you can see the orcs defiled the statue. It is hard work restoring hope when you have none of your own. Uh, would you help these men out and raise their spirits as they restore the statue? What do you say? This darkness is a weight on my mind. Yeah. And stay a moment. Aragorn has asked me to make his coming known to the Morgul orcs have regrouped in the nearby Ithilien, so that word may be spread among their loathsome kind. If it were you whom stood between them and the proclaiming of the true king of Gondor returning, I vouch I would strike some fear into their hearts. It might even put some bravery into the chest of my men here. So... I need to tell a few of them about the coming of the king. Alright, I guess I could do that. But somebody here was needing... Okay, I guess they're not ready for the help yet. Oh well, alright, let's go and find these orcs and tell them about oh actually I think I best talk to him later because I suspect he wants to send me way down ah it, there's an orc there now, does he count as a lurker or is that a specific type of orc no he doesn't count but he does count as an orc and maybe not for this quest, but maybe for another quest. Alright, there we go. Oh, do I have the kill 20 orcs quest right now? We'll find out in a moment. Ah, 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 no, no healies, no healies, no healies. No healies. things at once. Oh, right. Oh, only eight. All right. Oh, yeah, that's for the epic story quest. Yeah. Now, where are these Morgul lurkers? Maybe near the Morgul Vale? Yeah, down this way. Uh, well, let us go. Guess around here and find these lurkers and tell them of the king's return. As if they didn't hear the trumpets or trumpeting, shouting, the king returns and all that stuff. And now they want me to do the same thing, I guess, just to drive the message home in case there's anyone here in the Morgul Vale who has not heard it. 
this. And now, where are those lurkers? Oh, wait. Ah, found the lurker. Hey, you! The king's arrived! Alright, good. That's one down. But I can't tell them and kill them at the same time. Hey, you! <laughs> run away, run away, run away. Uh, how do you get credit for two of those? Who knows? Ah, oh, well. Yeah, th they run too fast. Well, then I'll eventually have to... <laughs> kill... I'll find a few more, then kill a few, and... And then I'll be back. Alright, I finally took care of those, and... Let's see what Angbor wants now. There's not but ill omens these days. Exemplary work. I am certain they ran like cowards. They certainly did. These are troublesome times indeed. When you are able, speak with Arambal near the Statue of the Fallen King. He is in charge of the statue repairs, and he will be able to put you on to work right away. Of course he will. I mean, why wouldn't he put me to work right away? That's what all NPCs do. That's what they're here for, right? Hello, what needs doing? <laughs> yes, I am Arundel. As you can see, the repairs are behind schedule. Orcs had to file the statue, remove the head, and scrawled unintelligible markings all over it. Uh, first, those orcish poles will need to be removed, then the file head must come down, and if you're able, the statue's original head should be retrieved and placed back on the shoulders. Right, okay, well, let's get rid of these poles. If you're going to call them poles, eh? They... What? It looks like someone took a giant sword and put it into the ground certainly not a typical pole but then we are talking about orcs here oh yeah that, that's that's the way up and down right uh, here's the fourth pole Let's see oh I guess now we go up and break the statue head there we go. Let's knock this away. Yay! Now back downstairs. Okay, now that we have that done, we need to find the original head. Okay, and... Well, this looks like an original... Now tell me! How am I supposed to carry this all the way up there? Sometimes what you can carry defies logic. Just sometimes? Right, here we go. And... Let's put it there. There we go. One king's head with a crown of whatever that is. Now let's uh, speak with him. Alright, done. You completed all those tasks? What alone would have put me up, uh, back on schedule? Perhaps we shall be allowed to march from this place thanks to you. Alright, good. There is still much to be done before the statue is repaired, of course. Our workers are in need of some good stone to fill in the cracks. Oh, would you retrieve some for us? Uh, you'd be able to find the suitable stones in Osgiliath along the banks of the Anduin. 
and while you're along the river's edge, you might also take up some good water, which be used to clean up the foul scrawlings of the statue. Along the river. Wonderful. Let's see if I can find the place. Oh, actually, it'll be better if I go in the right direction. Right, right. Like heading towards us, Gilead. And not way towards Daggerlot. We're at the Great Bridge and now at the river. So perhaps we'll find something that we can collect and use. Well, that wasn't how I intended to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I have to actually find some suitable location while well, you have this river going right through here. I would have hoped that there would be some... First off, like I can at least get water here. This, this is a good waterfall, is it? Right. Despite what the quest tracker says, I don't see any. Well, I was. Well, I can't say I don't see any water. I don't see anything that I can take. Uh, let's put it that way. Let me search some more. Ah, I found the stone. Pure stone, uh, as opposed to adulterated stone. As opposed to pure dirt or or pure soap. Or okay, so maybe how do you know it's pure stone instead of 99 and 44 100 percent stone, right? One never be sure, can but I oh oh picking stones. Here's one right here. Good. Getting through here is going to be really thrilling. So when I get back through here, we'll see if I can find some stones on the other side. It appears all the pure water is at the northern part of the city. So let's collect some Anduin water. And apparently we need to find four different samples for four di I mean really come on I can't just take a bucket and grab some <sighs> sometimes quests are ridiculous perhaps I should be happy that they didn't need to get first age water from Valerian hello there here's your water and your stone these stones will do nicely you have a keen eye I will give them to the builders. If you would not mind, use some of the water you collected to clean the posts around the crossroads. Then use the remaining water to clean the scrawls off the statue itself. Alright. I suppose I could do this. Are you sure this doesn't need first aid water? Just checking. Well, actually that looks much better. All right, let's see if this looks better with a little bit of water treatment. Yeah, much better. I don't know how long this will last. I mean, how long does a post like this, staying outside and all that stuff, last before it needs cleaning again? 
I suppose back in the day they had plenty of workers to keep it maintained. But probably not so much in the more recent days. So I presume that you just have two posts at each road, one on either side. And there you go. There you go. Let's push this up. Good. That's amazing how fast you can get this done, isn't it? Alright, seven. So let's see. One final post. I missed one. <laughs> Typical. I thought that one looked a little bit too clean. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now, alright, this one looks nice and dirty. Okay, now let's clean up the statue a bit and... Oh my, isn't this really nasty looking? Plant growth all over it, orc scrawl, yeah. Ah, good. Now let's have a look at the statue. Yeah, much better. Alright, still a few plants there, but I guess that might just be what they expect in Ithilien. Well, I wish we could clear that off. Well, I got most of it done. Yeah, look at that! It were as if the army of the enemy never laid hands upon- What do you mean? There's still graffiti there! Oh, please let Gavor know that we're nearly finished, and we might have to march with the host of the West when they depart. I thank you again for your help. I don't know why you're so anxious to march with the host. Believe me, it's not exactly a high survival rate item. All right, done fixing the statue. Well, there might be some small bits to do yet, but it's a lot better now. Gondor needs your aid. Yeah, I see. It's coming along nicely. I am certain you were a great help and example to the men. In other words, I was given all the work. Okay, okay, okay. Apparently the men do still have those stones in which to do a little bit more. So I can't say they did everything. These are troublesome times indeed. And while you're working on mending the Statue of the Fallen King, I spoke to Mithrandir and Lord Aragorn. They require your assistance on a matter, but they would not tell me of his nature. Mithrandir would meet you at the road that leads to the Morgul Vale, and near the crossroads, as soon as you are able. Mithrandir, what's he want now? I suppose we have to find that out in the next episode of Piney Plays The Bjorning.